on me, I keep it grown You better watch your tone Yeah, I let her throw a tantrum and she throws a dog a bone Two bills on my cologne I spit off the Patron 20 man up on your table, blood, I killed it on my own Talk You already know, man, it's episode 5 of Bag It Out with Random Mike And we're here with the Brum's finest JK, Thanks. how you feeling today? I'm alright, man So we're here in Harvey Nichols and we're going to splash some cash For the man himself, watch how it goes I'm in the black cab, coming, coming to the house an amazing year for you. It's been my. It hasn't finished yet. It's not finished no, at all. Yet. Charted. Kinda. No, but you charted. How how something go number one? Yeah. How, how that. did that go? Working with Ed, um, Stormzy, and H. How did that go? Uh, obviously, when Ed shouts, yeah, it's a mad thing, isn't it? Bro, crazy. So, yeah, obviously, Storms and H. I've known them for yeah. some time now, so yeah, yeah. I've built relationships with them. But yeah. When Ed shouted me, I was like, yo, fucking... Of yeah, course, yeah. asked me if I wanted to do it, I was like, of course. You absolutely got the best verse on there. Thanks, man. And you know that, innit? Yeah. You got the best verse on there. Respect, man. How has it been, like, obviously bringing Birmingham with you and, that like, being one of the, like, most important artists in the game right now? Uh, obviously, I like being, like, a, a dad's in my, in my city, yeah, but yeah. I'm also, like, excited to see the new up and come come past and yeah, yeah, yeah. excel what we've done. Do you know what I'm saying? And it's got to be like that, man, because I think... I think we're the first ones to set examples in Birmingham. No, no, like I feel like in London you've probably seen like bare like millionaires from music yeah, and things like that and peers around you and yeah. you can see what they've done to change their lives yeah. and I think Birmingham, I think we are that first generation. Yeah, I spoke to Bugsy, I've spoken to H about it as well and it's like you lot actually bringing your whole scene and giving them more opportunities now. But do you feel like being from obviously up there had kind of harder to bust into the scene or is it? A few based years ago, talent. yeah. When, like yeah. a few years ago, it was, yeah. Like yeah. there was things like we wasn't getting like opportunities and yeah. things weren't falling in our hands and yeah. stuff as like as much as it is now. But I feel like it doesn't matter where the fuck you're from now. Like yeah, yeah. Now you lot have set it now, man. You, it doesn't. It's YouTube, is cool now. YouTube, Instagram, He's made it cooler. everything like that, bro. It's yeah. just like it's anybody can go yeah. viral tomorrow. Yeah. Like it's, there's no, there's nothing holding you back now. Like labels are seeing this now. You can see the change in radio. You can see the change in everything. Like I was gonna say, like about a month ago, it's like everyone was in the charts. Even now, bro. Yeah, I seen someone mad. put a list up the other day, like the top 20, bro. I seen like 15 of them, and them, you know, like that. We run this now, man. So we're gonna ask you a question. So, a girl's offered JK out on a date. Yeah, we're in Harvey Nichols. What are you picking right now? I feel a shirt, isn't it? All right, cool. Let's look for some shirts. Are you into like the planes? The I'm loud casual ones? as fuck. Yeah, like obviously growing up. Yeah. Man would save up to like for ages to cut one yeah. thing and that you get me and then hold it down and make hold sure it, it looks nice, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But so now I just like as much as I can, I just go and cut the things that I always I saw his used eye. to. Did we see his eye? Yeah, the things that I've always like wanted Stony. to cut on it. See with me, the reason why I love Stony so much, yeah, because it was one of those brands I couldn't afford it. Fully rubber. I've always been going to football games and shit like yeah, that. So yeah, yeah, obviously yeah. you always look up to the elders and that and they've always got the Stony. Stony on, jacket me, on yeah, bro, so that, that on with the with Now the I've got my Stony game box, you get me, bro. Like I can <laughs> fuck with anyone now, you get me, bro. Is there anything here you feeling? Some some swaggy guy's got one of these, man. I don't know if you've seen him before in future in like other episodes, but yeah, man, this guy is six. Who's got it? Harry, some guy, Harry Pinero, man. Oh, you got it? Yeah, yeah. Man. <laughs> yeah, man. And obviously, being in London, bro, I yeah. ain't seen like, I ain't seen this before. From this is like, this rap. Yeah. It's not much, man. That's why we come to Harvey, man. Give him the Harvey way. This is sick as well, man. Yeah, I see you. I'd wear that out. I'd wear that out as well on the night out. I'd rock that. Should we grab this? Double XL, man. All right, can we get this? Excuse me, somebody. We need this in double XL because he's a wham guy, he's eating right, you already know the thing. Yeah, Mad like, bro. Where could I wear it? I'm thinking like, what the but fuck? But you know this though, yeah, see if you're performing. This it's is the, one, the fit. It? It's one extra live, isn't it? How much is it? Fuck you now. I still look at things and think, fuck you now. Obviously, Harry's my sugar daddy, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a mad yeah, thing, Yeah, this know? is crazy. I'm thinking to, like, this is a, it has to be that show as well. Yeah, and I obviously, think this is I'd it. come out of that topless as well underneath. Brother, like, it doesn't underneath yeah, that. You know how real it is? You know how hot it's going to be I wouldn't as well. Wear, yeah, I wouldn't wear nothing underneath that, you know. This is a madness. And listen, this is new, new season. Listen, I'm going to fuck up one extra live in this. Ah, he's yeah. told you already. There yeah. you go. This is you ain't seen one this one before, yeah. brother. Huh? one extra live, that is. <laughs> So, so this is like a proper stony love thing. I'm sorry, guys, if you don't feel stony. Stony, shout us, yeah. All right, so obviously you've worked with like some very big artists in the game right now, but who are you looking to work with in the future on any future projects of yours? I've got an album coming out and yeah. I'm keeping like the features kind of tight, but if yeah. you I've kind of saved all my friendships that I've built yeah, in yeah, the long yeah, one yeah, and yeah, haven't yeah. drew for yet. For, yeah, you need them for it's, that. It's yeah, going to yeah, be yeah. them, innit, bro? Yeah, man. Skepta is someone that I'm, I'm looking to drop something serious with. Yeah. Yeah. I think Skepta is one of those artists that if you've been coming up and listening to the man's music, 
you just always you need to work with someone like yeah, him. Yeah, I've done, a, I've only done like remixes like with yeah. him and things like that as well. So I want to yeah. do like something cemented like me and him on a bad boy ground tune. That's yeah. what I want to do, man. What is your first like album that you bought from when you was younger? And that inspired you to say, you know what, I need to do this music. Too. I remember like I remember like asking family members to get like 50 Cent um, his first album. I remember like, but personally, like, I remember like going to college and shit like that. Like me copying something, it was Gets Freedom of yeah. Speech. You, know? you see Gets, yeah. That's the first one I ever Big took in gets. so deep. Yeah. Like that was like, I really took that in. Alright, let's head over to the to the Burberry side of things because I know. You're a big Burberry guy. I know like you're into like the kind of plain brands. Casual, like, man. Casual stuff. Yeah. What about Burberry? Are you into the Burberry? I love Burberry, yeah. Right, let's have a little look at Burberry. I ain't, see, I ain't seen this shit, yeah, bro. Man, Yo, that's what, that's what I mean. I ain't seen this shit. What the fuck is that, bro? You know what? Summer's done, but if it, if it was still summer and I had yeah. that show somewhere to do summer, I, that would probably be a purchase. But right now, I don't think it's uh, it's suitable. This looks like Arthur would wear this. You know what? Oh, look, Arthur with a fist. This is him in winter. <laughs> I do like the like the bait, obviously yeah. the bait pattern and things like that. I like but this I think one. That's a bit too much. Aye, this is the official baby yeah, shower. I got, bro, I got a bag of them. Oh, this is a new. Oh, they got a new thing. Yo, that is hard. That's a dumb jacket. That we saw this last time. Well. That is hard, you know. But it's it's uh that's the jacket though. That's for life. That is. Yeah, for life. It's come like it's like it's bulletproof at the back. <laughs> I like it not being bait. Yeah man, I like this one, you know. I'm basically 1300, but you know how it goes. You work hard and you play harder. And there we have it. Yeah. Let's go. So what's your like go-to trainers and what brand like have you just been wearing since you've been young? If from young it's been Nike's, isn't it? Yeah. It's just been that, but recently like 270s, 720s, I think they're comfortable as fuck. So so you're saying the night deal's coming soon? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so nah. I don't think so. All right, so we're in the trainer section right now, and then these are probably like our high-end trainers. Hello, how you doing? You all right? Oh, she's laying. Um, <laughs> yeah, so we're looking at the high-end trainers. So any trainers here you're looking at, you think, hmm, they could do on my feet. Do you know what? Yeah, I'm tempted to get these, you know. I don't know why I like them, but then it's just a... I like them better, though. Yeah. Yeah, you know, because I could do this something like this, you know. What, what size are you? 11. Yeah, you're like me, big foot. Come on, big 11, foot gang. Man. Can we get these in an 11, please, darling? Yes. This is how life is for you now, JK, man. You get <laughs> hand-delivered items and whatnot. She's wearing Stony as well. That's how you know Come on. Stony runs this Come thing, on, man. Look at that fat foot, man. Yeah, it's mad. You know you have to be tall to have a big foot. Like, if you're like a, a size 11 and you're, you know, 5'4", four, four, you got a problem there, you know? You, you, you're a clown. Yeah, there you go. They're hard, bro. Done. Can we zoom into them bad boys? Ah, uh, uh. there you go. Burberry. That's one purchase done. We out. I can't lie, I do like it, man. Yeah. Oh shit, that's not my fucking uh, artwork for my logo. Exactly. Yeah, the same. I love this shit. This is cold. I get that if they got sizes as well, you know. I can't lie, the first time I bought it, I thought it was a Miri. That's why. <laughs> Wait, it wasn't. The summer's a mad thing. T shirt, sure, yeah, yeah you're not you have out, to have a trim. You're not coming out till everything's nice, yeah. it? but winter, but as long as you've got your nice coat and cover your you're headphones, in the game. yeah, yeah, oh. buff, it? you're man in it, yeah. Man, man, them, man, them. That just reminds me back in the day. Only thing I don't like about winter is trying to bill it in a flipping, in a cold, mate. Rizzo are getting wet. Yeah. Man's huddling around the zoo and that to make Trust sure the me, window I, fucking blow it away. That's the one thing I don't miss about, like, I miss about the hood. Broke time. Are you out the hood now? Yeah, my yeah, man, out of there now, man. Yeah. I mean, one time, yeah, I saw my dad, yeah, like at the shop. I said to my dad, oh, please, I need three pounds, man. He's, gone, he's like, what for? I've gone for food. Brother. Bust you the fiver. Gave me a fiver, so I had money for food <laughs> and to top up the as well. Good times, man. What do you think of this tracky? I've got a few jumpers in that. I like the I, back you know, of it more I don't than like, that. I, I don't want to feel like people to feel like we just get tracksuits, but we're here to be comfortable, innit? This is what man doing, innit? You know, this is, this is, this is me going shopping, innit? You know what I'm saying? I still feel like there's something over and stony for us, you know? Let's kind of have, a, let's have a, a, another look, man. I feel like we can do something over there. Let me piece something together for you and see if this works, <laughs> innit? So, boom, we take this one. I've got that, yeah. Uh, Boom. And then we take this. Bottoms, yeah? The bottoms. Okay. That's hard. That's something I've learned. We cool with this? Yeah, we cool? Yeah. All right. Excuse me, lovely ladies. <laughs> Thank you. Next is I've got, do you know about Sam Tompkins? No, no. Singer from Brighton. I've got a tune coming out with him. Um, 
fair. Everyone wants features at the minute, you know. You're a hot property. It's, I'm only going to do a couple because yeah, yeah. my album next year, that's yeah, all I yeah. give a fuck about. Yeah. That's all I really give a fuck And you're looking to like tour the world. I've got it. Uh, I had a meeting the other week. I've got it all penciled in. I know when I'm doing it. Everything's yeah, yeah, sorted, yeah. yeah, man. That, like, that feeling must be crazy, though, to know that you've got like people pushing your career actually want to see you it's see scary it as, well. as well because on a time scale like, i can only see it on a piece of paper and know yeah, what's yeah. happening like nobody else no supporters no anybody yeah, not yeah, even like people around me know what the plan is yeah yeah so like in my head i know like i've got to hit couple deadlines Beforehand, as long yeah. as i hit couple deadlines yeah yeah it's gonna run no, no, smoothly of course, of course, yeah. of course. obviously i think this is the best purchase so far that is nice one. jacket that is nice, can't lie. You can feel the material, everything. Keep it, he, he kept it British. Obviously, this shit fits, man, bro. Yeah. Can't be wearing the f Gucci little fit, man, bro. <laughs> I can't wear that shit, bro. We got to do an episode where Harry gets a shop. Yeah. Might have a Harry, new, Harry like, does. He might have a new job role. He might be. Yeah, like might a be new, the new. Yeah, yeah. Harvey Nichols director, direct, stylist, marketing director. No, stylist. No, no, no. That's the stylist. That's yeah. The main guy. That's two thousand four hundred thirty-five. Nice suit, man. Yeah, I'm jumping on his music thing ASAP. HP featuring JK coming soon. Bram and London, you're done already. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure he's not watching the pin and that. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. I didn't see nothing. Woo. There you go. Right, I'm just gonna wrap this up for you. Sweet, man. Thank you very much. I respect, man. Yeah, man. Come on, man. Let's go. And that's it, man. End of episode five with the one and only JK. Come all the way down from Brum to show us some love. It's Run the mic, back it up. We do the best, man. You can't do it like us, man. You already know. Look out for the new music. Got Harry, yeah. One extra live. Ooh, Sugar Daddy Brum. Harry. I'm gonna be there. Yeah. HP sauce. <laughs> Make sure you follow him, yeah? Nah, you already know, man. Harry Pinero, run the mic, back it up. And that's the end of season one finale, man. But look out for season two. You know we've shelled it. And we're going to bring more names, more money, more swag. HP like the sauce. <laughs> you don't have to worry, I ain't feeling these legs. I'm on the way home. I'm in the black cab.